Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Alrighty guys, welcome to Window Clean Resource. Today we are going to talk about how to eliminate mistakes when fanning windows. So I'm here at a house on a Saturday and I'm going to show you on a piece of glass what common mistakes are. A big thing to help you stop your mistakes when fanning is if you've started with larger squeegees, go back to a smaller squeegee. So, you know, here I have a 10 inch squeegee. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna use this on this piece of glass, but if you're learning, and it's your first couple weeks learning, learn how to use a 10 inch when fanning. This is not preferred, but it's gonna help you learn this motion, okay? I've talked about this before on a how to learn how to fan windows on window cleaning resource. And then I would say from a 10, move to a 14. We get a 14. After you've gotten a 14 down, a 14 is great, great for homes. So I definitely keep a 14 on your belt all the time doing homes or commercial. And then the ideal size for any job is of course an 18 inch squeegee. And that is probably going to be your most efficient squeegee to use. Some of the most common mistakes are when fanning. Let's start with the entrance to the window. Most guys, after they have mopped up the whole window, they will cut into the glass, come to the other side, and just try to hit the mountain down right from there. Or what you're forgetting about is that when you enter the window, right over here, and you take away from there, you're leaving a small kind of triangle area right here. The same as when you do a straight pull, you leave this, we need to come back and grab that after we've cut in. So we cut in, we come over here, we must come over here, grab that, and then work our way down the window. One of the other common mistakes I see is either people using too light of a touch or too much strength. If you're white knuckled on your squeegee, that's too much. So just loosely hold the squeegee here. I kind of hold it right there. As I move through the fanning motions and as my thumb will move up here or back down here, but don't worry about it over too much. Just let the weight of the squeegee do the work. And that's also going to prevent the next problem is that when guys get down, usually to the bottom here, they don't know what to do and they'll usually stop because they're going too fast and you'll see them come over here and they'll straight pull the ending of it. So when fanning the window, just take your time. If you're fanning the window, you're gonna get it done faster than using straight pulls or any other technique. So towards the end, say if I wanna go fast and get the soap off, right at the end, slow down to your final corner and let the squeegee close out correctly. Now, when you close out, there's no right or wrong way to close out. You can close out to the side. You can close out to the bottom. And those are pretty much your two ways you're gonna close out, but there's no right or wrong way as far as that goes. The, another common issue is, is when guys or gals really are, when they're coming with their fanning, they're really going hard. They're really going hard at the frame. And when they're, they're hitting the glass almost like this, that's a little exaggerated, but they're making, uh, Rihanna calls them kisses on the glass. So kisses are like that, they're skip marks, whatever. If you're seeing that happen a lot, you just need to slow down, watch the corner that you're going in with. So am I, go, am I cutting in with this corner of the squeegee I'm watching that corner. I'm not really paying attention to the rest of the squeegee because it's all going to follow. I'm just letting the squeegee fall on the sides. I'm not hitting it into the frame like this and leaving marks. It's just when you fan, let the squeegee, just the weight of it just fall. And right as it reaches the point where your arm's a little uncomfortable, curl it back in and bring it the other way. So another problem I see with guys is that they think that maybe going on top of a ladder, if they have to start in a certain area on the glass, because most guys, 
depending on which handed they are, left-handed or right-handed, right-handed guys think they need to curl in, you know, going to your left, and left-handed guys think they need to go in, um, cutting in on the right. Wrong. You can cut in from anywhere when fanning, but when doing that, it just depends on what you need to do to come back to grab your entrance. So I could start in the middle of the glass down here. I could start in the upper part of the glass up here, which I actually really like because then you just come back, you take this down and you're not having to grab that area of when you do the normal cut in to grab that block of water that's kind of almost invisible but will show up later. So the last mistake that I see a lot of guys do, even veterans, is you want to eliminate as much space that you're going over when you're passing over with your squeegee. What do I mean by that? If I'm cutting in and I'm coming over like this, I don't want to do this and only have like that amount of rubber on the silt. When I come back, I almost want to make a mountain by cutting in and making as small as the space as possible on top so that when I come back, my squeegee is picking up all soap and going over a little, little piece of dry glass and that will make you very, very efficient. If you are going over a lot of dry glass while fanning, say if I did this, I come over here, I let it drop down, then I come back over and I have over half of the squeegee on dry glass, especially in the sun, you're gonna leave a huge arcing streak there. You may not see it right away, but as you go back in and you check the job or a customer sees it, you're gonna have a huge arcing streak there, especially when you use too much soap or not enough soap. So that's one thing. Make sure that when you are squeegeeing the glass using the Fanon method, that you are using as much of the squeegee as possible on the area that has soap. And that's pretty much it guys, as far as um, mistakes when fanning, I hope this helps you. Please comment below with any questions you have and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, remember to check back here on Window Cleaning Resource for more window cleaning videos. Have a good day. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com.